Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be comparing a pair of Ray-Ban Original Wayfarers that I bought from the Sunglass Hut for $150 against a pair that I bought from eBay for only $63. Most of us have probably seen deals like this before on eBay and probably questioned if they could be actually real for almost $100 less than a pair of sunglasses from the Sunglass Hut. So in today's video, we're going to find out if they're real or not. Alright, so the pair here to the left is going to be our eBay pair, and then the pair here to the right is going to be the pair from Sunglass Hut. So we'll actually start off with the pair of Sunglass Hut sunglasses, and we'll take a look at the box first. We can see a very nice and pristine looking Ray-Ban logo here on the front of the sunglass box. Then here on the side, we're going to see the Luxottica information sticker here on the side. And again, this is the one from the Sunglass Hut. And then again, here on the side, we're going to see a small Ray-Ban logo, and this is basically what the box is going to look like. Now let's actually take a look at the eBay pair and see how the eBay pair looks. And here we can see that the logo is going to be maybe a little bit faded. It's not going to be quite as red. Let's actually just bring in the Sunglass Hut pair here for comparison. And we can see that they both are actually pretty close. Um, there's really not a big difference here. The color of the silver box is basically going to be the same. It's going to look a little bit more textured here on the Sunglass Hut pair, I would say. And I think the Ray-Ban logo, the red, looks a little bit more washed out on the eBay pair. Now let's take a look at the serial information here on the eBay pair. And here we can see that the sticker on the eBay pair is completely different than the sticker here on the Sunglass Hut pair. So here is the difference. Again, the Sunglass Hut pairs, they run to the right, and then the eBay's here to the left. And we can see that the sticker is completely different. Now, unfortunately for the eBay pair, I've personally owned hundreds of different Ray-Ban sunglasses, and all the Ray-Ban sunglasses that I do own have a more traditional looking Ray-Ban logo. And out of all the different Ray-Ban boxes that I've owned, none of them are going to look like the eBay pair is going to. So again, here is just another box that I have, and the eBay pair is going to be here to the left. Again, it's completely different than any other of the sunglass boxes that I own. Okay, so the eBay pair is not off to a good start, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt and let's actually just open up this pair of sunglasses and let's see what you get in the box here. So just popping up the side, we're going to see the sunglasses and this case actually looks 100% legit. It actually looks really good. It looks like a real Ray-Ban case, but it's going to be black. Here is a close look at the sticker here. Definitely going to look legit. Here's a look at the back, and then here we can see the button is going to say Ray-Ban here, nicely etched in there. And again, this all seems to be legit, it looks really good. Here we can take a look at the little button here, and it's going to be smooth here on the top, and then here on the bottom, it's going to have a little ribbed texture here, which again is going to be 100% legit and looks very good. Now let's open up the top here, and ooh, there's a lot of stuff happening right here. Um, let's actually just start off, I guess, with the sunglasses. Let's pull this out. And here we get this little case, which usually comes with fake sunglasses. I have to say, whenever I get a pair of fake sunglasses, it seems like it comes in this little protective plastic carrier. And real ones usually don't come with that at all. I don't think they ever come with that at all. Maybe they used to, but they definitely don't anymore. So next up here in the case, we have our Ray-Ban icons. And this uh, little menu is going to feel very cardboardy. It's not going to feel very nice and paperly, but we'll put that over here to the side and let's see what else we get in here. And here it looks like we see our Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and our little Ray-Ban uh, Luxottica uh, information here. So we'll put that over to the side and let's actually just take a look at these sunglasses themselves. And to do so, we're just going to pop up the top here and let's see what's in the actual bag itself. So giving it a little snap, it's gonna pop open. And then we can see that the sunglasses are still protected by another layer of coating. It seems like they're trying to make it look as legit as possible with all these different protective coatings and whatnot. Uh, let's just pull this over here to the side. And honestly, as I'm feeling the Ray-Ban frames, they feel a little bit fake. Just from feeling them, they don't feel like real acetate. They feel like a plastic, like a cheaper plastic. They're not going to feel very good. Let's pull off the side thing here. And here we can just take a look and see the sunglasses themselves. So they're going to have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here. They're also going to have some nice metal accents here. The edges are gonna feel a little bit sharp. Usually they're gonna feel nice and smooth. This edge feels a little bit sharp and definitely un undefined. It's going to be very pointy and again, very sharp. Definitely should not feel that on a real pair of sunglasses. And then we can see the raised Ray-Ban logo here in the corner. Again, that's going to look legit and seem like it is going to be real. Then we can see it does have metal hinges here, which is going to be on a real pair of sunglasses. And opening the sunglasses and closing them actually feels pretty decent. It doesn't feel like a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, 
but it actually feels pretty decent. I'm actually impressed. These hinges do feel pretty decent. Um, taking a look at the inner temple of sunglasses, they're going to say Wayfair, handmade in Italy, and then they're gonna say polarized right here. This particular pair is polarized and the sunglass hat pair is not going to be polarized, so that's the only difference between these two pairs. But let's just put these sunglasses down and let's actually take a look at the sunglass hat pair. So we'll put all the uh, eBay stuff here to the left out of the way, and let's actually just take a look at the sunglass hat pair. So again, here's the box, we'll pop it up. The box is actually a little bit beat up on the sunglass hat pair, where it's not beat up and actually pretty pristine here on the uh, eBay pair. But let's actually just open this up and take a look at the sunglass hat pair. So sunglass hat pair is actually going to feel maybe a little bit heavier right off the bat. And again, this case is going to be 100% legit. It's going to look very similar to the eBay pair. There's not going to be a big difference. Obviously there is going to be a color difference, but both these cases look very, very good. We can see the nice stitching on the sunglass hat pair. And even on the eBay pair, we can also see a really nice stitching here on the bottom. Let's pop up the top here on the sunglass hat pair. And oh, again, we'll actually take a look at the nice Ray-Ban logo here on the top of the button. And we'll take a look at the button. We can see it's nice and smooth here, like it was on the eBay pair. And then here we can see that nice rib texture, again, which we should find on a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now, opening up the top, we can see our sunglasses and we can see some information right here. And probably the biggest difference between this pair and the eBay pair is going to be that the sunglasses are not going to be wrapped in any Anything, they're just going to look like this. So let's put this down and we'll actually see the Ray-Ban icons. And the Ray-Ban icons book is gonna feel a little bit better. It's gonna just feel a little bit uh, not quite as cardboardy. It's just gonna feel just a little bit better. And here's a side by side comparison. We can see they are both very similar to each other, but we'll put that over to the right. And then let's actually take a look at our Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. So here is the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth here on the sunglass hat pair. And then here is the pair on the eBay pair. And they're going to be very, very similar to each other. Looks like the Ray-Ban logo is gonna be basically in the same spot. They're going to be almost identical to each other, except for the sunglass hat pairs are going to say Ray-Ban.com, where the eBay pair is going to say Luxottica. And it was the same case in our Ray-Ban aviator video. So let's just put these over to their perspective sides. And let's actually just take a look at these sunglasses themselves. Now, like I said, this pair is not going to be polarized, so it's not going to have a P at the end of the Ray-Ban logo, but this is what the Ray-Ban logo is going to look like. And as soon as I feel the frames, I can feel the acetate. It's going to feel a lot better than the frames that were on the eBay pair. And with the acetate, we can feel that they are very, very nice and their hinges are also going to be very good. Definitely a little bit better than the eBay pair. This is gonna feel just a little bit more premium and nice. And here is a look at these sunglasses themselves. They're going to look very nice and shiny. They're going to have those metal accents and then a raised Ray-Ban logo right here. And this logo looks very nice. We can also see that these sunglasses do have, again, all metal hinges, which are going to, like I said, feel really good when opening up and when closing them. Now if we take a look at the inside temple here, we can see these are also going to say uh, Wayfair, handmade in Italy, and they're not going to say polarized because these sunglasses are not polarized. Now, something very interesting to know is these Ray-Ban original Wayfairs are not going to have a sticker that says 100% UVA protection by Luxottica. Usually, every single pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses have that. I don't know if it fell off, but I do not see it here in the sunglasses and I don't see it here in the case. So it seems like the sunglass hat pair does not have that little Ray-Ban logo. That's gonna be a little bit weird, but I don't know. Sometimes Ray-Ban does some weird stuff. Maybe they just forgot it where here on the eBay pair, they're going to have a little Ray-Ban logo that says Ray-Ban Polarized, and that logo looks really good. So unfortunately in this video, we're not going to be able to compare logos. Okay, so here we have a very non-scientific scale. This is actually just my wife's cooking scale. And let's actually put the eBay pair here and see how heavy they are. Looks like it's going to say 48 grams, and now let's put on the Sunglass Hut pair. And here we can see that these say 44 grams. Now let's go ahead and repeat that just to make sure that the scale is going to be accurate. Uh, 47 grams. And then the sunglass hut pair is going to be 44. So it seems like the scale is going to be accurate and there is going to be a weight difference between the eBay pair and the sunglass hut pair. Okay, so we just changed perspectives here. And again, the eBay pair is going to be here to the left and the sunglass hut pair is going to be here to the right. And wow, there is a huge difference between these sunglasses. They almost look like completely different models. Uh, again, we can see here on the eBay pair, the edges are going to be very, very pointed. We're here on the sunglass hut pair, we're going to be very smooth and they're not going to be 
quite as dramatic. And here we can also see that the EBIT pair is going to be a little bit taller than the Sunglass Hut pair is going to be. And now let's take a look here at the sides. And wow, this is going to be the number one way to identify the real from the fake. We can see that the real are going to have a very nice slant here coming into the eye. And here on the fakes, they're going to be very flat. And this is actually the number one way to identify a pair of fake versus real Ray-Ban white figures. The real are going to have a nice slant here and the fake are going to be much more straight. So again, here you guys can see the difference. And we can see again that the eBay pair are going to be fake and the real pair from Sunglass Hut, of course, is going to be real. And that is the difference you guys can see see it and it is a huge difference again it's going to be a dead giveaway let's actually bring in the fake pair here and let's take a look at the edges and over here on the fake eBay pair, we can see how sharp this edge is going to be. It's going to be very, very pointed and sharp. Now it's actually bringing in the real sunglasses and let's actually take a look at it here. And here on the real sides, we can see it's completely different. It's going to be nice and smooth. It's not going to be sharp and it's going to look really good and classic. So with these two sunglasses side by side, we can see that the fakes are going to look like a two-year-old drew them. There's going to look very just blunt and, and, and honestly pretty ugly. And and then on the real pair, we can see the real angular style and how these just really look just a lot better than the fake are going to look like. They're just basically going to look like two completely different sunglasses. Huge, huge difference there. But now it's time to break out the macro lens and we're actually going to get some high quality macro footage of these two sunglasses side by side. Okay, so now we broke out the macro lens and we can see here to the left is going to be our fakes and the pair to the right is going to be the real sunglasses. And here you can really see a good idea of how they are very sharp and very pointed here on the fakes, yet how the real are going to be nice and smooth and also not going to be quite as long or as distinct as they are going to be here on the fake sunglasses. We can also see that the little metal accent is going to look a little bit different on both the sunglasses. It's going to be more straight here on the real sunglasses. Now let's take a look at the Ray-Ban logo on the real pair of sunglasses. And here we can see that the logo is basically flawless. It's going to look absolutely amazing uh, here on the real sunglasses, just as expected. Now here on the fake sunglasses, let's actually take a look at the logo. And here on the fake, I think it looks a little bit worse. If you look at the top of the R, you can see a little bit of extra paint splatter. And overall, I think we can tell that this logo is just going to be a little bit worse overall than the logo is going to be like on the real sunglasses. And that is definitely to be expected. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the etched RB logo in the middle left lens here. And here we can see on the real pair, the logo is going to look very decent. It's gonna look really nice. And again, this is the real pair. Now let's take a look here at the fake pair. And here on the fake pair, the logo is actually going to look pretty decent. Maybe it's going to look a little bit more faint, but honestly, both the etched RB logos look pretty decent on both these sunglasses. Now we have the real pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers here, and we can take a look at the hinge from this angle, and also take a look here at the inner part of the stem here of the sunglasses, and it's going to look very, very good. It's gonna look really nice, and there's not going to be any marks or anything, and again, the hinge is going to look very good. Now let's bring in the fake eBay sunglasses, and here we can take a look at the hinge, and here we can see the hinge is completely different. The hinge isn't even going to look anywhere similar. And then here on, again, the arm of the sunglasses, we're going to see all these different lines from where they didn't polish it correctly. And there's just going to be a little bit of extra buildup here. And just going to look really bad here on the fake sunglasses. And it looked really nice, of course, on the real. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the outside temples of the sunglasses. And right now we are showing you what it looks like on a real pair of sunglasses. The Ray-Ban logo is going to look absolutely pristine, just going to look very, very nicely raised and just going to look very good. Now let's bring in the fake sunglasses here. And here on the fake pair of sunglasses, we can see that the logo looks like trash. It doesn't look anywhere near as good as the real logo. It's not going to be quite as shiny and just going to look pretty bad in comparison to the real pair of sunglasses. I also just noticed this really weird piece of extra plastic here on the fake sunglasses that's going to be sticking out here on again on the fakes. It's just going to be a lack of perfection here. It's just going to be a, a part of the plastic that when they were, you know, polishing these frames, they missed. And again, here's the fake and it's just going to look it's just terrible. It's just bad overall build quality. You're definitely not going to see anything like that in a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. But of course, not every fake is going to have a blatant, obvious mistake like this, but it was present in this pair. So those are all the main differences between these sunglasses. Again, the fakes here to the left and the real pair is going to be the pair here to the right. And the number one way is just look at the slant. If the slant is going to be off, it is going to be a fake. Again, fake here to the left, real here to the right. We can 
see it has a nice slant. And then the other dead giveaway here, I think was going to be the actual Ray-Ban box itself the actual sticker here. The sticker here on the left, which is going to be the fake sticker, looks completely different. It just look, it looks fake. It looks terrible. And then the sticker here to the right is going to be what a real Ray-Ban sticker is going to click. That is the main difference between both these sunglasses. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you want to pick up a pair for a little bit cheaper, but also relatively secure, I definitely recommend buying Amazon over eBay. I have heard of a few reports that people bought fake pairs of sunglasses on Amazon, but that's because they bought from a seller of like two feedback and that's really what made that happen. So I definitely do recommend buying on Amazon and I will leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check the sunglasses out on Amazon so you can save a little bit of money and don't have to pay the full $150 retail like I did to buy this pair. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss any new videos that are released to this YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.